For one to fully comprehend this pony fascination, let me first sum up the previous of Pony Generations. Generation 1 appeared on TV in the 80s. It was made to sell toys. Plots were hardly very weighty. And Generation 2, I do not mean to grouse and gripe, but these characters fell right into the girly stereotypes. And Generation 3 is just too awful and too tragic. So let's jump to number 4, where friendship is magic. All of the characters compelling and the stellar storytelling and the lovely animation brought about great dedication. This is where we meet the bronies, where they like my little pony. Yes, the bros enjoy the ponies, so let's go and meet the bronies. Though the growth and pony fandom might simply seem absurd, true fans adore the show while others gallop to the herd. For hipster bronies watching Paso Ponies has appeal, though first it seems ironic, soon enough it's very real! For moderates, the start was humble, finding it through hype, when the bronies did invade their favorite forums and websites. And though first a little skeptical, these moderates inquired, and once they finally saw the show, their love for it caught fire! The core of the meetups and conventions that you see are the social groups that come to BronyCon and ever free! Yes, the moderates and hipsters are the big groups of the bronies, they're the dudes that are the bulk of all the men who like the ponies! Creative bronies are the final bunch you need to know, making music, art, and stories all inspired by the show. While counting down the days from season one to season two,